Now to the surging coronavirus crisis. As of today, more than 9 million people in the United States have been infected. More than 230,000 have died. That's the most in the world. Still, early voters have risked it, turning out to vote in historic numbers. CBS's Lilia Luciano has the latest. Tonight, excitement at the polls, even as a pandemic rages out of control. If there's any silver lining, it is the fact that people are deeply engaged. In record numbers, more than 93 million early ballots cast and still counting. So much sacrifice was made so that we could have the opportunity to vote. In California, where every eligible voter got a mail-in ballot, Anthony Banjo went to the polls. Uh, because I want to make sure that my vote counts. At the same time, the nation's fall COVID surge is in full force. New infections nearing 100,000 a day. 27 states are breaking records for daily infections in the last two weeks. Former FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb said on Face the Nation that the winter could be grim. I think December is probably going to be our toughest month, but when you look at what's happening in states right now, you're seeing accelerating spread. In New York City, police shut down an illegal Halloween party with nearly 400 guests. Starting Wednesday, all out-of-town visitors to New York will face mandatory testing, but no quarantine for now. Back in California, a COVID survivor story. Natalie Coelho tested positive for coronavirus just weeks after starting treatment for an aggressive form of breast cancer. So I had two things going against me. And it was her doctor paused her chemo so she could goodness. fight COVID first. It's very scary. How did your family take it? You know, I was in the hospital and it took control of the household. It made me cry. Um, very positive. They keep me going for sure. This super vote site at the Honda Center, home of the Anaheim Ducks, is open until 8 tonight. In all, Orange County has already seen a 61% voter turnout. Chip. Lilia Luciano, thank you.